But I'm popping like a Kardashian. Huh. Pretty and ratchet. Pretty and ratchet. Pretty. Lonnie, good story time. Lonnie, good story time. Oh, yeah, bitches. Pow, pow, pow. It's a 22. Pow, pow, pow. It's a 22. Should we do that one more time? Yes, let's do that one more time. Let's do that one more time. That one more time. Ready? Pill, pill, pill. It's a 22. Pill, pill, pill. It's a 22. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Oh, God. Welcome, guys, to another story time. So, basically, guys, um, let me keep it 100% true. Basically, y'all. I am going to change how I do story times. Not today. I've ordered a few bits. Period. We are making the story times Period. even more lit. I, don't even, I can't tell you yet. I can't tell you yet. But we're gonna make them more lit. I've bought a bunch of stuff, and we're just doing. We're we're we're, we're, we're making this a real show. We're gonna make this a real show. It's gonna be lit. It's gonna be lit. So tell your aunties, tell your grandmothers, tell your cousins, tell your sisters, tell your brothers, yo, tell everybody that the story times and that Lani Goods channel. Hey! So you're still stupid in your fucking head. You idiot. You're honestly an idiot. You're an imbecile. And I can't stand you. I can't stand you. You tried to ruin me, you fucking prick. You tried to ruin you fucking prick. Only because you're an egotistical prick. Fuck you. And I can't be arsed with you anymore. It's got one week, guys. One week, guys, and you're going to see the fantasticness I'm talking about. Anyways. So I'm here for a little story time. This one isn't too long. It's basically how I found out the first guy I ever ever was my boyfriend, like my serious boyfriend, my first ever serious relationship. How I found out that he was having a baby on me. Yeah, that's right, sis. This nigga was cheating on me. He was cheating on me so bad that he didn't wear a condom. He didn't wear a, 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 a condom. He didn't wear a hat. And basically, he got a, a bitch pregnant and he had a whole wife. Me. <laughs> Oh, I should know how to pick them, don't I? It's because I love a bad boy. I'm such a fucking little... And, oh, oh, I just make the worst mistakes. But the thing is with me, I say I like a bad boy, but even the good boys fuck me, have fucked me over. So, anyway, we move. Um, So, the story starts when I was 19 years old. Yes, 19 years old. And I was working at this place, and that's where I met my boyfriend. We were working in this place that did concerts in London. Okay, you can figure it out. <laughs> so we're working at this place, this establishment that did loads of concerts in London, and we were we we were really enjoying the concerts, and we were really enjoying the job, and it was great. And I met this gorgeous, gorgeous brown skin ting. He was so sexy, oh my god. At the time, I was like so into him. He was so sexy. And I just used to think, oh my god, would he ever be interested in a girl like me? And guess what? He was Nigerian, typical, because that's my type. And I was just like, would he ever be interested in a girl like me? And then one day, he like moved to me or whatever. And he was like, can I have your number? And I was like, oh my god, you want my number? Oh my god, you're so hot. So I thought he was gorgeous. So he wanted my number, he took it down. We started texting and he started calling me and stuff. Um, but you know, he was still immature and stuff. So um, he would play games. Sometimes he wouldn't text back straight away. You know, all the, all the huge. And then eventually he asked me to be his girlfriend. And um, actually he asked me to be his girlfriend no, 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 no. We used to meet at work, and after work, I'd wait for him. And um, we would go to the train station together, then we would have a snog. And then he just asked me to be his girlfriend after like four weeks or whatever. It was so beautiful. <laughs> it was so cute. It was so lovely. So, yeah, he was my boyfriend, and you know, it was great. And it was fantastic. And he was so cute. He was so good looking. And I was just, I felt like the luckiest girl in the world. And a lot of the girls at work fancied him, so I felt really, really lucky to be with him. Um, because, like I said, he was gorgeous. Anyway, 
um, we were going out for about four months. The relationship wasn't going that great because he was a bit of a fuck boy. So he was always like flirting with other girls. You know, like when you hear rumors, oh my God, he was flirting with the, the, one of the other girls or he was doing this or um, what else did he, he did one thing that fucked, that was fucked up as well. Um, um, oh yes, sometimes he would like, just like ask me for stuff. Um, he just, he was just a bit of a naughty boyfriend. He took advantage a little bit, but anyway, whatever, we were young. Anyway, um, because we were young, we didn't have anywhere to, at, at 19, 19? I lost my virginity at 19, so this, I get, 1920s when I'm dating my boyfriend, he wasn't my first. This boyfriend of mine, I think, was my second partner. He knows who he is, if he watches this video, he knows who he is. So he, um... He, um, we never used to be able to meet up in anyone's houses because we still both lived at home. So what happened is we used to sometimes, not all the time, sometimes we would just chill and uh, at work or chill wherever. But then sometimes we would get a hotel because we had nowhere to, we were like little kids and we wanted to make love or whatever. So we'd get a hotel. So one time we got a hotel or whatever and um, he was sitting next to me on the bed and um, I was on my phone and I was on Facebook and um, he saw a girl on my Facebook um, pop up and um, she was my like she was my friend on Facebook and he made a comment he made a some sort of comment like I don't remember what he said but he made a comment about her that was kind of like oh how do you know her? Do you know what I mean? And then I said, oh, la la la, I went, I went to school with a girl. So I was like, I, went to, I go to school with her, she goes to my school. Or she went, oh, sorry, at this point I'm not in school anymore. But he was, I was like, um, she, she went to my school. And he was like, oh, okay. But it was just really suspect how he reacted to her. It was obvious there was more to the story. So we left the hotel, you know, said our goodbyes, gave, gave each other smooches or, or whatever, kiss each other, it was lovely. <laughs> You know, I was on cloud nine. My boyfriend was so gorgeous, loved him. So then um, I left and then I decided, let me contact the girl. So I contacted her and I asked if she, I think I actually had her number because I don't remember this conversation being on, 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 um, I don't remember this conversation being on Facebook. I think I texted her, I had her number. We had spoken here and there. And I just said to her, hey babe, how are you? You know, a little bit of small talk. She was like, hey babe, how are you? How are you sis? Yeah, what's going on? La 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 la, how's life, blah, blah, blah. Cause we were not super close at all. And then I said to her, so babe, basically honey, like, um, I was just wondering, I was just like, I was just wondering honey, how do you know, how do you know um, so and so? And then she said to me, Oh, him. Oh, I know him because I basically dealt with his friend. So the reason he reacted like that is because he, his friend was talking to the girl. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. So then after that, um, she was like, how do you know him? And I was like, I'm his girlfriend, like a dickhead. I was like, I'm his girlfriend. <laughs> so proud of myself. And she was like, really, sis? Are you sure? And I was like, yeah, I'm sure I'm his girlfriend. And then she was just like, oh, okay. And then she goes, that's really um, brave of you. And I was just like, what do you mean? And she was kind of like, well, basically, like, obviously, like, your boyfriend, you're, like, you're saying he's your boyfriend with your chest and he's out here, you know, getting girls pregnant, you know? And I was just like, pardon? And he, she was like, yeah, he's out here getting girls pregnant. And I was just like, pardon? I literally, the world stopped. The world stopped. I was like, what do you mean he's out here getting girls pregnant? And she was like, he's got a baby on the way. And I was like, no, he doesn't. And she goes, yes, he does. And I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I felt like the world was closing in on me. I felt like I couldn't breathe. I felt like I was suffocating. I felt like I was dying. I, I just wanted to faint and cry. I felt like, is this a dream? At this point in my life, I had been really, really sheltered and I was like this bubblegum princess. I think you can kind of tell a little bit from my personality, my, my type, of back, type of background I've had. Like a little bit like, oh, la, 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 la. So for me, I just never thought anything in the world like that happened. Happened. I didn't realize a man could have a baby on you. I thought that only happened on TV. I thought that only happened in Maury. 
so I was shocked and also I'm thinking but he's only 19 20 like how is he, how is he having a baby um, so anyway, I called him and I was just like to, to him, I'm going to call him, let's just call him bloke. So I called bloke and I was like, yo bloke. And he was like, yo. And I was just like, um, are you having a baby? And he was like, no. And, and then he was kind of like, don't ask me stupid questions, you know? Why are you asking me stupid fucking questions? Like, obviously man's not having a baby, innit? People just like to talk about man, innit? What did I expect? Did I expect him to admit they was having a baby? No, I didn't. No, actually, I did expect him to, but I've learnt now as I've got older, you have to actually have evidence when you go to these men. You have to have evidence or they will go to their grave with these lies. With these lies. So guess what? I called my friend crying, but she probably, she said to me, you know what? Unless there's proof, you don't know it's true. So I basically convinced myself that it wasn't true because it was better for me to think it wasn't true. But since it was true, so it was true because me and him ended up breaking up after five months and i was still in contact with some of his friends we were cool and whatever because remember we where i worked his friends worked there too i, I didn't say that but where we worked his friends worked there too so everyone kind of spoke everyone knew each other everyone was cool so he had a couple of friends at that place and his friends basically told me yeah he does have a he he basically yeah he does have a um um, baby on the way because I asked them is he got a girl pregnant and they were like yeah those are the rumors and then months went months went months went and I was just like has did he ever have that baby and he goes yeah and guess what the friend told me this is when I really knew one of his friends said to me listen sis like he didn't say sis but he said listen that baby is his and I was like how do you know and I said they're, they're, they're identical and guess what he weren't lying when i saw the baby eventually when i saw the baby because we became cool again and he sent me a picture that baby was identical to him identical twins twins so basically um when he saw that baby he couldn't deny it he knew that was his child he knew that was his child i felt like a dickhead because i really liked him um, but he was stupid and he was obviously going around here barebacking everybody. But do you know what's funny about this story? You guys, this guy, <laughs> guys, there's so much dimensions to this story. This guy I'm telling you about, bloke, I, I promise you, like, bloke, me and him, we went for a lot of mess. I don't even know if I could really tell you guys what we went through because some of it makes me look really bad because I did... One of the things I'm most ashamed of in my life, one of the things I've done that I'm so ashamed of in my life was to do with him. Um, so bad, because I got revenge on him because he was doing a lot of stuff to me to do me dirty. So I got some revenge on him. You know, the baby, the talking to other girls and all this shit, I got revenge on him. And um, the revenge does not paint me in a good light, so I don't even know if I want to expose that. <laughs> moving swiftly on <laughs> um i just want to say this um if this ever has happened to any of you guys just know this stuff happens it's not the first guy this guy and the love of my life that both had babies on me both like it, it happens it it definitely happens if they're cheating on you and they're barebacking girls and they have things going for them like they're good looking they, they they're rich they're tall they're funny they're popular like, I'm not going to lie to you guys. The story I did, if you haven't watched it, go watch it. The story I did on um, um, trying to kill my ex, the love of my life. That boy is extremely popular. He's got way more clout than me. I just haven't exposed who he is. But basically, when, you, when you're when you dating Mr. Popular or Mr. Good Looking or Mr. Sexy or Mr. Got Money in the Bank, just a guy that's basically appealing to other women and he isn't ready to settle down in, like that. He wants someone there. He wants someone to play the role of wifey. But he really saw a kid in his head and he doesn't actually want to, co to commit on that level. He wants you to commit. Like, he wants you to be loyal, but he doesn't want to be loyal. Um... 
it's, it's very 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 likely that he'll have a baby on you it's likely he'll give you an std this, this is the reality people don't really want to talk about this shit because it doesn't it doesn't sound good and it's embarrassing but sis it happens it happens every fucking day b people have babies in fucking marriages people have babies on their wives it happens every day this is what happens when you marry boys or you play with boys but we can't help it because the boys be the ones who are sexy in it but anyway I hope you enjoyed my story time let me know if you want to hear more story times on bloke i need to think about it because i actually like him he's a cool dude um but yeah guys thank you for listening to my story time i fucked with you heavy i love y'all but i'm popping like a kardashian huh. pretty and ratchet pretty and ratchet pretty and ratchet